I think what I'd like to do is go here, because it's yellow. Uh, so let's travel here. And then I want to see if I can get to Kranich from here. There's a colony event. Okay, good. And that too is yellow. So we're already back up to four. This is great. Uh, Lord Captain's presence is required. Okay. Well, we, we will be there at some point. Anything in here? Mm-hmm. Oh. I was about to say this seems like a nice quiet system, but like, I feel like the last time I said that, we ended up in a bunker full of gas. So, or deadly, toxic gas. So I feel like saying stuff like that is dangerous, but overall, there is no ships that want to kill me. A hive city. Oh, interesting. The Centiel's pride hives are oozing noxious haze veined with sulfurous streaks. The Promethean fumes from the gigantic distilling cauldrons located beyond the temperature shields. Vast endless deadlands littered with spots of Prometheum stations and refineries separate the colossi of rock Crete and adamantine with its crown of gargantuan spires. The heat of the system star has turned the world into a boiling but lucrative gland within the body of House Corda's protectorate. It's hard to tell what's more impressive, the grotesque grandeur of this place or its extreme toxicity. Girl, you kind of say what I'm thinking whenever I think it too. I'll, I'll love Tess. She's, she has the best lines. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this is. Oh, I think we're good for now. All right. Now, on to the place you've all been waiting for, Kiava Gamma. I don't know if everybody's been waiting for Kiava Gamma. I've been waiting for Kiava Gamma because this is, has, um, Heinrich, his personal quest. So, the warp jump went smoothly enough, although many crew members reported strange incidents while they were asleep. They sensed someone approaching them and laying a hand on their forehead. Then the hand seemed to pass through their skin. Oh, God, no. Wait. Uh, somber for almost two. Yeah, I remember we've had that. So Jai got affected by it too. All right, chart roots. And now we have five. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Good. That's good. That's great. Absolutely nothing. Lord Captain, according to the telemetry, we're in the system of Chiave Gamma, the main industrial world of the Von Valencius dynasty. However, our Astro Pass report uh, that attempts to contact Governor Gabrick have been unsuccessful. But wait, the Vox Master silent for a few seconds. Lord Captain, a new report. Kyavagama is sending a request to exchange data. Should we accept it? Reply with our own request. As you command, Lord Captain, the Vox Master switches to a nearby comm channel to relay your instructions to the crew for several minutes. Nothing. Lord Captain reporting, the Manufactorum is ignoring all of our requests and continues to send us its own. The longer we do not accept their messages, the stronger and more persistent the incoming signal. I've never seen anything like it. Suddenly, a deafening screech erupts from the bridge's Vox system. You hear violent tirades of garbled Ben Hart code like the low chuckle of machinery. Lord Captain! Interference detected in the compartment box system. It looks like the bridge is cut off from the rest of the void ship. The void ship's bridge sounds of work. Oh, sorry. I just want to see a uh, picked. So recorded by Servo Skull Watcher. Okay. The void ship's bridge, sounds of working cogitators and officer footsteps. The everyday scene is interrupted by an ear-splitting beeping sound, followed by lumens going out. In the dim glow of candles and emergency lights, one of the officers in the frame cries out. Another falls to her knees, clutching her head. Over the beeping of voxes, shouts can only just be heard. What's going on? The doors are locked. We've lost contact with the compartments. One of the bridge officers turns to the throne. Lord Captain, the vox stations are malfunctioning and overloading the system. None of our outgoing transmissions are getting through. The incoming ones that do make it are make it are distorted beyond interpretation. Um, let's see. Decipher the incoming Vox transmission. Continue sending orders from the bridge and request data update. Girl, they can't hear you. Decipher it. Proceed. A team of decryption experts gets to work. Data tethers are inserted into sockets as they connect to the cogitators. One of the Vox clerics leans over the console. Another is writing something on a piece of parchment but then she bursts into manacle laughter and stabs herself in the eye with a steel quill another scream attack priest 
who was mid-prayer tears himself to pieces with his iron mechadendrites. More and more lunatics were mutilating themselves and lunging at others. Portion of picked recording damaged after contact with another unknown object, and Enforcer shoves a ravid servitor away from the Lord Captain Ishii. Uh, so we have 100%, 80%. Rushes to help, uh, begins methodically exterminating anyone who shows any sign of madness. Rushes to help the crew shouting out orders, executes one of the lunatics, and roars a series. No, let's do this. The image of the Pict is fuzzy, nothing but glimpses of people shouting racket at the Lord Captain's orders. Within, a min within minutes, the crazed crew members are either dead or bound and unconscious. The officers clustered around the Lord Captain are barely breathing, but unharmed. Scrap code. The voice belongs to an on-deck engine seer who has turned... Who has turned to the Lord Captain from his station. We have been attacked with scrap code, a tech heresy designed to corrupt machines. The transmission received from the planet was infected with this taint, and it is now running through the ship's veins. Omnissiah, preserve us. The Voidborn officer appears before the Lord Captain once more. Whatever it is, is that's attacking us. We have a backup procedure that can circumvent the Vox barrier. In the atrium leading to the bridge, there's a terminal for an isolated system that might still be un the loud pop. The pipes over the officer's head burst and blasts of hot air fling the Voidborn away from the Lord Captain, his body slamming straight through a cogitator panel. The picked frame spins uncontrollably. The servo skull was jolted by the gust. A picked recorder fogs over. The vox picking up the crackling of the electricity and death, a death cry. Gas on the bridge, a junior attendant shouts and instantly doubles over, inhaling poisoned air. The rogue trader got 90, 55, and 75. Gives an order to evacuate immediately, commands the crew to carry on with their duties until the very last. No. Runs for her life from the bridge. Eh. Evacuate. The rogue trader personally oversees the evacuation. Bring the plasma cutters, get the wounded to the exit. Officers repeat her order. The servo skull follows the rogue trader reach. When the servo skull following the rogue trader reaches the doors, they fall to the plasma cutters and crumble outward. The rogue trader is the last to leave the bridge. That's my girl. Leaning on a support beam, the rogue trader takes several deep breaths, trying to flush out her lungs with air. Then she straightens to smooth her uniform and heads towards a goal known only to her. The servo skull follows. The atrium is in a state of panic. Silhouettes skitter about in the dark hall, illuminated only by the flickering of emergency lumen. Curt orders and someone's feverish words of prayer can be heard. Having lost all communication, the beheaded ship is writhing in agony. It takes a while for the Lord Captain to find the cogitator mentioned by the fallen officer. The panel of the isolated terminal is riddled with cracks and bloodstains, and on the floor by the terminal, a tech priest is lying in a heap with his head smashed, the techni and technical liquid mixed with blood oozing out of his ports. The Lord Captain decides to take her chances restoring the terminal. And we succeeded. The rogue trader rips the power key off the tech priest's mechadendrite and opens the cover on the terminal. Sparks fly into her face, but she's confident in her manipulation of the tangled wires and clanging levers. After replacing the cover and ensuring that the system is restored, the Lord Captain brings up the required data on the screens. The maintenance bay is sending out hundreds of desperate distress calls that have gone unanswered up to now. When the machines went out of control and started turning people insane, others, driven by the same hateful and paranoid logic, started butchering the servants of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The tech priests have sustained heavy losses, but the remains of the cult are still holding the line. Out of everything that's happening on the ship, the situation in the maintenance bay is the direst. The Lord Captain knows where her help is needed. Most she decides to... Oh no, we, 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 we go ourself. The rogue trader arrives not a moment too soon. The crew, frightened out of their wits, have already uh, cornered the priests of the Omnissiah and are about to execute them. The Lord Captain stands between the angry mob and the tech priest, her sheer presence already giving the crowd pause. Partially cutting off any objections from the crew, the rogue trader orders the officer she gathered on the way here to escort the mutineers out and set up a guard post outside the bay, where the tech priests begin to offer desperate prayers to the crippled machine spirits. The walk to the bridge is uneventful. The crisis has passed. Although wounded and crippled, the ship nevertheless is returning to normal operation. Life on the bridge is a, as bustling as ever, even though the people are surrounded by destruction. Senior officers have the situation under control, and people have been organized. The emergency crew have already finished repairing the pipes. The technomats are setting up cogitators and consoles, and the healers are backing up what few corpses there are and examining the wounded. By the comm station, the rogue trader runs to the Vox Master. Praise the Emperor! You're in one piece, Lord Captain. The situation on board is satisfactory. I was just in the middle of setting up a calm channel. Soon all the Vox casters will be fully operational. Another man appears in the picked frame, a junior officer completely out of breath carrying a heap of scrolls. The Vox master nods him. Ah, 
Here are the reports, Lord Captain. If you find yourself able to return to your station, I can immediately give you a rundown of the state of affairs on the ship. End of picked recording. Uh, the situation has been brought under control, more or less. It'll take some time to eliminate the consequences of the attack completely, but the vessel is capable of motion. We may even be able to conduct a warp jump if you feel we should leave the system. Allow me to bring you up to date. Fortunately, the bridge suffered only minor losses. The reports mention only a few casualties that have already been replaced. Kiava Gamma went silent after transmitting the harmful signal. I'll refrain from sending inquiries to the industrial world to avoid second attack. I'm afraid we've exhausted our options for remote analysis. More information can only be obtained by closing the distance or even sending away an away party to the planet's surface. The Vox clicks on as Heinrich joins the channel. The time has come to remind you about our agreement, Tessera. I must be present in your entourage during the expedition to Kiava Gamma. I'm counting on your cooperation. The crew is awaiting further instructions, Lord Captain. To Kiava Gamma it is. Y'all, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to finally get to Kiava Gamma. Let's see what this world is made of. Let's see who really is on this world. Is it as bad as um as as everybody's making it out to be? Maybe it's fine. I doubt it. I lift up my voice in prayer for this vessel and its hollowed guns. Thank you. Wait, I gotta fight. I gotta fight for this now too. Oh, good. Here we go. How many ships? Lots of ships. Iconoclast destroyers. 50, 50, 80. Okay. You are good ship. Oh my goodness. Where are all these? Sh okay. I got three over here. If I go here, you'll reach. Done. Mm-hmm. Good. My dorsal, like, just barely won't freaking hit it. No! Oh, this is... Oh. No, I don't need to restart my shields. What is this again? Ooh. Yeah. Yes! Finish it. That's so good. That was so good. That was such a good upgrade. Okay. Like that was worth every single upgrade we did, which was literally just that. Okay. Can you just stay there? So that way I can hit you with like a starboard. Yeah, you can. Okay. We're getting hit, but not too badly. Oh my goodness. You both are going to stay like perfect placement. All right, who are you? Like, I don't even know this ship. Okay. Okay. Now, torpedoes. I'm gonna put this torpedo here. Okay, now I'm gonna let it do that. Okay, now let's do port. Finish you. Done. Dorsal. Done. Well, almost done, because then we'll do port side. Uh, sorry, starboard. Now that should finish that. Excellent. Now, if I put you here, no, if I put you here. <gasps> oh man. Oh, like you see that? That's like a just barely. Right? Yeah, it's like a just barely. And then if I put you here. Ah, there's no good. It's the only thing I can think of is that you could. But even turning wouldn't give me enough. So I'm just going to put you here and then we'll just see what happens. All right. Only two left. We're doing this so well. Definitely gotten the hang of this. I think for the most part. I say that, but like, I'm going to, I know, I know there's going to be coming a like, a uh, fight like this and it's just going to kick the shit out of me. But for the moment, I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy feeling like I actually know what I'm doing for a few minutes. Glad I didn't do the 45 degree turn uh, because that would have been foolish here because now I can 45 degree turn here. Uh, this. I'll send this. Now, if I 45 degree turn... Here. I hope I did that right. Mm. 
No. But can I go any more forward? Yes. No, I just barely. God. Yeah, see, I didn't do that right. That's okay. Fine. I mean, honestly, though, it's just the ship left. Like, I'm not super worried about it. Oh, gosh, you're going to get me? No? Okay. Actually, well played. Well played, Pasma Torpedoes. Done. Uh, An unsophisticated victory. What do you mean, unsophisticated? It was beautiful. I thought our victory was stupendous. Very victorious. We won in the end. Why does it need to be? You know what? I'm going to leave that. I don't know what that is. I didn't even look. I'm just leaving it, though. We'll do that when we're done with Gamma. Gamma. Let's scan this place. I have a feeling this is going to be awful. Like, I'm just telling you all right now. I have a feeling this is going to be awful. Given what we've already seen from Kiavagama and the fact that we already know Kiavagama's fallen. Like, that's what you learn that on Footfall. This place is gone. Like, it is not ours anymore. And then if those last two attacks, like the one on the bridge that we did the, the story on and then the fight didn't give you any indication, it's gone. Oh, but it looks so cool. Okay. Heinrich frowns as his eyes sweep over the manufactorum's dark halls. No solemn ceremony, no personal meeting with the magi, magi. I fear we're too late, and we won't be dealing with a clandestine heretics after all. Ben Harkle arias of alarm stream out of Pascal's Vox synthesizer. In the necrotic break in him, you sense a call to arms and a warning of danger. Uh, any suggestions? To start, let's look around and find out why the arrival of the rogue trader did not elicit the usual fuss. To speak plainly, I'd not count on a warm welcome at this rate. Better to keep your weapons at the ready. Remind me about your mission. I assumed I'd conduct an investigation and track down traces of the cult of the final dawn. I believe I can discard that plan now. Both the incident with the scrap code and the manner in which we were forced to land on Kiavagama indicate that the situation has taken a turn for the worse. Nevertheless, I must use this opportunity to try and determine what the cult was doing on an industrial world and what specifically interested them on the planet full of sacred machines and servants of the Omnissiah. First, we must find someone who can tell us what's been going on here. Heinrich pauses, straining to hear something. Uh, if, that, if that is, there's anyone left here to speak. Let's go. He nods, continuing to stare at the surrounding gloom. This place is fine. It looks great. I don't see anything wrong with the fact that nobody's here to meet their rogue trader or My anything like that. An mm -hmm. I, I like it that Heinrich me. referred to it as just like po the pomp and circus of being a rogue trader. Okay, all right. What are these? Before you is an ancient but wholly typical console intended for use by people not trained in the mysteries of the ministering to the machine spirit. The cogitator is completely silent, but as you approach, you sense the warmth emanating from its metallic casing. A telltale sign the machine is working. View the log. You discover the local data crypt with contents collected by either previous operators or machine spirit itself. Using your access, you study the archive stored in the cogitator. The vast data repositories contain millions of strings related to receiving raw materials for processing, shipping, processed materials, and schedules for sacred rituals to be performed over the machines coming off the production line. The manufactorum once operated like one gargantuan, well-oiled mechanism. The last record is from two months ago. And then what about this one? Uh, the cogitator's panel has dozens of breakers, buttons, handles, switches, and other control mechanisms. Let's look at the logs here. You discovered the local data crypt contents collected by either previous operators or the machine spirit itself. Using your access, you started the archives stored on this cogitator. Oh. View the third log, which is hidden by the protection of the machine spirit. Yes. Your knowledge of machine spirits is sufficient to trick the system and subdue it to your will. A false query, a crafty manipulation of the controls, and you get what you want. 
The instrumental terminals have already been replaced, and the material delivery systems are being prepared for divine transformation. Execution of the new procedure has been delayed. There are some in our ranks who doubt the words of the fabricator, censors, and his votaries. There are some who would not, who are not susceptible to the enhancement protocol that carries our tech comrades to enlightenment. Many the delivery, may the deliveries of the fate be merciful to them. Inaction is death, and I must be returning to our great work. Praise be to the truth that will reveal the path to the knowledge shrouded in darkness. Interesting. <clears throat> so the first log says, Praise be to the Omnissiah, whose might and power transform dead metal to make manifest the Holy Spirit, or visions of the machine god. The new protocols received at the Synod from the Great Fabricator Sensor have been executed despite those who shuddered at the thought of changing the standard procedure. Embolden your hearts, those whose inner weakness breeds error in personal calculations. For the Fabricator Sensor is the conductor of the higher will and the wisest among us. Today, at the Supreme Assembly, the Fabricator Sensor unsealed the vaults of the sacred design and committed those deemed redundant or heretical to purifying disposal. Today, dozens of standard procedures were lost to be replaced by new ones, which the Fabricator Sensor will deliver to those who demonstrate the greatest devotion to serving the truth. The databanks contain no notion of truth. Could there have been, may all-knowing one, the gracious keeper, forgive me, an error in the Fabricator Sensor's calculations? And he meant to say, serving the quest for knowledge. Huh. Wasn't, like, the truth or whatever, like, I feel like we've heard about that um, before. Like, was that um, Pascal's, like, mentor guy? Victory like, Owens. was that who had mentioned it before? I forget, but I do know, like, the whole, like, the truth thing and stuff like that. Like, I know we've heard it. So this is really interesting. Your mind is swathed in blue-gray smoke, Master Van Kalox. A heavy color for heavy thoughts, I presume? <laughs> you are a dangerous person, Lady Orcelio. Well, all navigators are, but your abilities place you in a special category. You didn't answer her question or her thoughts, though. Um, let's see. None shall stand in my way. Girl, who's going to stand in your way? You're the rogue trader. You stand in their way. I'm going to loot this place blind because it's probably 16 universal laws, the mysteries. Huh. Okay. Who is this? The lumps protruding under the tech priest, uh, the draggled red rope hinted the mechanisms implanted in his body. You see his haggard, sickly face under the archaic respirator, augmentic eye, eye, a click, a clink, a barely visible, barely audible hiss, and only then the tech priest box finishes the words, identification. Request denied. Pascal turns to you, his visors gleaming crimson, registering anomalous behavior within this servant's organics and invalid nosphere. Response, this unit is compromised. Uh, you carefully study the roped clad figure. A black border of necrosis spreads out from around the tech priest's implants. For some reason, his body is rejecting the true flesh. A moment later, you recognize the dominant smell in the bouquet of scents permeating the air around the tech priest. A stench of rotten meat. Um, who are you? And the tech priest clicks his relay. Magos, Custos of the Machine Sanctum, Tier 2-0, Identification. Um. Oh, because, is this because we read? Or no? Uh, the Fabricator Sensor is a traitor to the Imperium. I will not. Where's the Fabricator Sensor? I'll only speak with the person in charge. Denied. The irregularity demands execution of Protocol 39-42 in accordance with the Fabricator Sensor's decree. Um. The fabricator sensor is a traitor. I will not comply. I will not be doing anything until I meet with him. Anticipated process disrupted execution of disposal protocol recommended. The tech priest draws his weapon as his robes open. Your senses are hit with a fetid wave of rot. Ah. Uh, Take a knee and bow before me. Cross them. Okay. So it was always going to end in a fight because Tess was never going to yield. So here. Ooh, where did this music come from? I'm leaving Argenta here, actually. 
and then Pascal Babillard. Let's get you here, Heinrich. Here, let's roll. Mm -hmm. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Good. Do not dare ask me. What? If you insist, Lord Captain. What if I like super dared to ask though? Like, what if I was like the one person in the world who really wanted to dare to ask? What is the? Let's just start him off. Ah! Another clean strike. Mm -hmm. All right, Heinrich. Before you go, give everybody a little boost. I won't object to it. Thank you. Now here. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Thank you. Okay. This. Let's see to it. Okay. Well, let's get For one the of these going. Glory. Let's get some of this. But of course, Lord Captain. Excellent. Now. Yeah. Oh, so good. Man, it's a beast. All right, Pascal. Let's bring you up. Is no one route forward. Okay, one of these. You're gonna hit this one. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. So this. Now this. Running binary override. Good. Now. Request denied. Really? Why is he gonna get a bigger hit? I don't know why, but I'm gonna take the bigger hit. No! Okay, we'll be okay. All right, Argenta. I'm gonna put you here. And now. As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay, now. This. I'll do it. Kinda hoping you miss. As the Emperor commands, I have No! Eyes, or I'll open mine. Ooh, she does get cranky. I like that for us. Okay, Tess. He's like... I'll pass. He is far too close for you, huh? Yeah. You gotta move. Anyways, so that's fine. Um... Suits my purposes. The guy's got that up front. Let's finish oh, this guy. Um, test, test. Suits my purposes. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Where is he? Sorry, I could have Cassia finish him in the end, because like that that would probably end up working. Already Here. done. Tell her future. Thank you. Okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh my god, when did it, I didn't I've never seen his like casual sword on his shoulder. That's so good. That's so good. Abelard, you coming my in? Place is at the fall. Yeah, it is. Uh, Here his whole thing it is will be done. this. I'm now this. Not interested. Yeah, but what if I'm interested? Victory is in the target. Well, now struck. if they move, they get smacked. Okay. Good Break dodges. Yourself, Good dodges. Can we can we smack them back? Okay. Actually. Here. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Yeah. This will work out better. Faith without. There we go. Okay, now momentum is here. Good luck to everybody. This. Come here. Guided by faith. As the emperor commands, I act. Ask my girl. Cassia. Tell Tess to get back in the may. fight. Beautiful. Done. All right, Heinrich. The no this. I really got to reorder like everybody's bar at some point because it's definitely causing a whole mess of confusion in my brain that like 
Naturally. They all have their big stuff in like different spots. If I do, that's 15 to 23, but if I do, it's all, oh, let's just do this. The Inquisition sends their regards. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Let's do I'll this. see our foes obliterated. Smack them all again. For the throat. Just a minor setback. What did you just do? What? Do I want to know? Like, do I? I won't object. Holy terror! All I, smite your enemies. All I know is it all went boom, and I I wasn't expecting that. As the tactical objective right. dictates. Cool. Request approved. Now this. The scriptural vulnerability analysis successful. Now this. Now combat is an equation. Your life is Can you a scale? My frail organics require this. Okay. Um, if I put our gente here. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Girl, you bathe it in righteous fury. Like why I need him hit. I'll do it. Sorry. She a little unwieldy Doubt some days. Argenta, you are relegated to I'll single shots. This is why I was chosen. One more single shot, Argenta. I'll do it. <laughs> She's relegated to single shots. Test test. Can you hit him? No, he's too far. You come here. I just, shall not feel. Can you just careful of the fire for me? Okay, stack them. Nothing this. I can't do. Can you? Oh, too easy. Did you hit him? Yeah, you did. Is he healing? I don't know. Abelard, come here. Dude is surrounded. Indeed. That's not the Seneschal's job. Okay, that's the Someone Seneschal. else can do this. No. At your beck and call. Okay, he gonna move. Everybody gonna hit him at once. Dodge, good dodge. Okay, Cassia, come up here. Uh, do this. No, this. Me? Mm -hmm. If you insist, Lord Captain. I always Isn't do. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Kinda. Uh, right, we got him. Yes, we did. Okay, let's do this. But of course, Lord Captain. This. I won't object to it. Now this. Naturally, the Inquisition sends their regards. Now that. Done. 